This is tabs, and if the king dies, we lose. Huh? Wait a minute. But instead of protecting with an army, we're gonna use the new map creator mode. Oh yes. We're gonna create a map of any of our designs. Everything from a lake to a donut to nothing. Now nothing is cool because, well, you can sculpt stuff out of <clears throat> nothing. Like a giant space serpent. Now the rules are simple. We can use flag bears to try to keep the king in place. But we can't defend him using units. We can only use the map creator tools. The army attacking him also has to be able to get him. So something like this, well, that would be considered illegal for the intents and purposes of this game. Oh my god, why are you guys so dumb? You're... Oh, uh oh, 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 we have problems. This is totally accurate. And you may be asking yourself, well, Baron, how are you going to do that? How are you going to defend him? Well, I'm going to be able to use these new dispensers and spawners, like summoning tornadoes, meteors, using cannonballs and fireballs and magic missiles, all to create a death march. But first things first, I think we need to build like a wall so that the king doesn't fall out. So building a little castle seems like a good starting point. I was just thinking to myself, wow, I bet like there's a faster way of doing this. And there is. Increase the size of the bricks, you idiot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a lot quicker. So the idea is I want to have them have to get from here to there, climb the way up, and then make it into the fortress slash prison. None of this is as big as I thought it was. All right, so the test is does, does this work? It kind of does. The guys like, they kind of hop up and then they start moving towards the perimeter for whatever reason. And we still gotta figure out this part. They have a thing called bridges. <laughs> and make it totally accurately engineered. I mean, we have a possibility. Now we have to connect the last island, and I think we've got it. But that was the easy part. So I'm thinking at first we start with 50 squires. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, are these guys dumber than I thought? <gasps> <laughs> no, there, there's a bridge right there. What are you doing? Were you okay? Uh, backup plan. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, he just. I don't know. <laughs> this is special in so many ways. Wait a minute. I have an idea. We take the thumbnail. Ooh, and we go to our maps. Then we should be able to change the settings in the wind conditions. So, red team, they must defeat this guy. Now will they be smarter? Or do they still got the dumb in them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we, we're gonna have to make this like, you just can't mess up. They seem to be smart enough to go around these kinds of a wall. So I'm thinking we could create a bit of a maze. We've got it. What we've got to do is basically do a little bit of a tower defense. Now remember that our key weapons are going to be these, the dispensers, but we also have access to something like a spawner. Let me show you how this works. It's so basically what you do is we trigger this little meteorite box and we're going to put it right here. Then we get a trigger. We know they're going to be walking by this spot, right? So let's put an invisible little trip cord right here. Then what we got to do is go into like connection mode. Did this take me a few hours to figure out? <laughs> yes. But hopefully it doesn't take you that much. Now when we hover over it, look. So now we can test play it, put our invading army, put the king, and oh yeah, he's right there. They would normally try to derp at that, but they're not. So they've just triggered the meteorite strike. And <laughs> as a result, okay, that's, that's quite powerful. Wait a minute, did it stop? Or is it oh, every time someone goes over the trip cable, <laughs> it summons meteorite? Okay, that's that's really powerful. That is very, very good to know. <laughs> oh, this is gonna work brilliantly. So how about instead of that, we take something like an arrow and we have it pointed right at. We'll delete that and we'll drag the trigger to this. And while we're here, why not get a cannonball? Excuse me, a can a cannonball? No, no cannonballs. Fires. Yeah. We'll have, we'll have some of those too. Now, can we get this to all of them? I think so. And it's testing time. Once they cross this line, it's time to get wrecked. The trip cable has just been tripped and these things are quite powerful. Oh, <laughs> somebody, we're not gonna mention any names, 
uh, aimed this thing backwards. So yeah, that needs to be fixed. Luckily, this is pretty easy, but we need a plat for them to get on. Ooh, these are nice. Whoa. Now we need a U-turn this thing. It looks like it works, doesn't it? We're putting like 150 over here. Wait, now we've broken the game again. Okay. This is fine. Which is weird because we should be able to walk past these traps. <laughs> Idiots. And then we should be able to walk straight up these stairs. Oh, look. <laughs> hey, the king. Hey, buddy. We need a bridge here. Maybe that's enough to make it work. I think the AI can just be broken. There it is. We fixed it. Okay, so basically the AI will break uh, if there's not an actual path. If they can't pathfind to it, they'll just run straight into a wall, I guess. Oh my god. That is devastating. Well, now that nobody's made it past the front door, except Bob here. Good job, Bob. What's the fastest unit in the game? The Raptors. Some of them should be fast enough to get through. <laughs> All right. This is a pathfinding test, and this is what killed the dinosaurs. So we're going to have to put some to the side here. <laughs> Not a single one makes it through that gauntlet at the beginning. And then they don't use the stairs. Probably because there are guys down there. Okay. We need to put another wall up. Oh my god, they're smart enough. After that, they'll take the stairs. Go, my minions. Go. Yes, it's working. This is so important. They don't hit the gaps. They may not be... Th <laughs> All right, we need a different kind of a bridge here, maybe. But then they'll run and try to kill the king. Yes. Then we can go back into building mode and spawn in a volcano. <laughs> what does that do exactly? I can hit it with a meteorite. Oh, dude. Hitting an active volcano with a meteorite is awesome. We got to delete that. It's just too powerful. Now, what I want to do is use something called the repeater. Repeat and repeat. Die. Who is left? Now, I think this changes the amount of time it takes to spawn and fire. Now, we're going to have two of these guys aimed right at that bridge. But, like in cross fire formation remember we got to put in the wall block that off and voila oh and then maybe fix this little bridge port but i feel like it's starting to come together now these are so bad i love it <laughs> you can see why i'm not a builder you know now we need to have some cool looking stuff so this doesn't just look like junk so let's build a the king's mansion over here yeah this is nice with his little villagers. This is the guy who makes the cheeseburgers. And that's the guy who eats them. And there you go. Everybody you need in a town. The king's castle. Oh, the king should be up there. You're right. How big can you make it? Oh my god. This is where the king is going to be. What we got to do is find the bricks. Oh, there it is. Okay, the final ramp. And we must build our defenses. But one of the things that we got to have is, well, the tornadoes or the meteorite spawner. We're going to put this thing like way over here. And what's going to trigger it is this final trigger. Every time someone crosses this line and makes it on the, the final bridge, it triggers a meteorite strike. So right there triggers that. And on top of these things, what we're going to do is put more arrow towers. Oh, wow, this is going to be tricky. Wait, can I decrease their size? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that makes them easier to aim. A lot easier to aim. We're just going to have them aiming arbitrarily in the direction where we think people are going to be coming. And we need a repeater. Now, that fires way too fast. So we're going to have it fire every 9.4 seconds and then every 7.8. And what we're going to do is just, well, you go to that one and that one. <clears throat> that one now i'm thinking the final thing is actually a very very powerful magic missile from on top of the lighthouse this lighthouse is gonna be like the eye of sauron oh this is how do, how do i aim this thing i have sauron work with me honey work with me darling oh there we go that's pretty decent oh god that no that is the exact opposite can i even just put them on the face what the heck? It makes you wonder how that happens. I want some fireballs now. So the last one 
I want to have a gauntlet of fireballs. And we need spawners for them. I want them to, like, perfectly alternate. The running light appearance. I think that's exactly what we want. But I don't know how it works. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Look at all these. The numbers! What do the numbers mean? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what is about to happen. But my goodness, am I excited to try it out. Okay, so we have a sequencer. We have all these arrows. We need something for right here. I feel like a tornado would just be way too damaging. And at this part, you know what? I'm gonna put some dead trees up. All the trees that were here got burnt by the fire arrows, except for this one. Uh, guys, I, I think we have our first custom map ever done. But before we do that, let's break some. Oh, dude, I feel like an earthbender right here. Okay, that's pretty awesome looking. If the king dies, we lose. 151 squires and one questing knight. Uh, three musketeer knights. There you go. Now we're going to put lots of flag bearers here, so hopefully the king just stays in spot. Oh, actually, we can't have these guys falling off or it'll affect things. So here it is. The grand tournament. If the king dies, we lose. We must protect him. We can't recruit secret service guys. No, we have to use the map making tools. Wow, th these first two towers might be a little bit uh, a little bit too well positioned. Now, how is our sequencing doing? Are they, oh, they're supposed to fire every like what? How many seconds was it? Well, <laughs> one's firing. <laughs> okay, but now we have the crossfire. You can see the bolts flying by. Let's see, do any of them hit them? I mean, there are, yeah. There's definitely damaging spots, spots where they can die. Go, boys, go! It's funny how I'm cheering them on, even though, like, these are the guys that are going to try to kill me. And the king is like, you know what, Baron? I know I'm supposed to stay in, in place, but what if I just messed everything up? What if all of your hard work was for nothing, Baron? Oh, oh my god. I'm, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh, Tabs, you never cease to entertain. I will tell you what. But, I mean... How did he come out of there? All of these flag bearers are telling him to stay still. We'll put some on the bridge. And we're gonna mix up the attacking army. 182 of them. All these guys are saying stay still. They're not even doing a very good job at it. But we've set it up so more people will get in the front door. Oh no, that that's not that's not at all what happened. We 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 triggered more death. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoever designed this map is a, a genius idiot. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we don't really quite right have the idea for sequencers, but as you're watching this, what I want you guys to do is leave your comments as far as like what else we should try doing in this brand new map maker. Because it's a whole new world out here. Oh man, look at how close some of these guys are to getting hit by these arrows. I mean, it was kind of close. Now they get here to the derp to derp spot where apparently I need to put another bridge up. Our first template map is a totally accurate masterpiece. I think anybody can see that right now. But guys, we've been requesting a custom map maker in tabs for quite a while. And now I understand why they've waited so long to give it to us because we will make monstrosities like this. But some of you super talented map makers, I cannot wait to see what you're going to build. So now what we need are Raptor Riders. I mean, we've got 239 units attacking. Our frame rates are still decent. They're not good. I just want to see some stuff get up there. Run the gauntlet. <laughs> Look at that gauntlet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we definitely uh, didn't quite um, ahem, balance that. And <laughs> this guy's like, you know what? I'm going to take a detour because, uh, you know. Oh, that guy got hit by the arrow thing. Yes. This is awesome. It's awesome in that like derpy, like your kid brother, like started playing with Legos. And you're like, oh man, that's so great that you're playing with Legos. What you built was trash, but it's cool that you're doing it. Hey, hey, you know what? We should, okay, please just go up the bridge. Don't, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Hey, the sequencers are kind of working. I figure if we tried them at a lower uh, time frame, we may have had something actually work right for one. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the man with the spear has made it to the enemy lines. Oh, and the king is down there deciding, you know what? Why stay up where we have a hundred flag bearers trying to keep him to do. They had one job. They had one job, ladies and gentlemen, and that job, they have failed. 
<laughs> this is not how you do it. Somebody kill the king and, and get on, get over with this. Hurt the pretty. That boy, the voice actor for this king, he's so good. I feel like he should be in movies, don't you? This guy's just <gasps> the blue king. I mean, the red king has been defeated. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me know your ideas for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that we do have a map creator and it has so many new options here. You can change the theme, the size of it. You can start blank and build your own, which is pretty cool. It's, that's a heart. <laughs> now it's a, a skull. Anyway, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.